were taught very early um, that honesty and respect and empathy are like just key core values in our life besides our spiritual. It's just, it makes for a great career basis and a personal life, just being true to yourself and true to everyone that you're around. My three older siblings were at Creighton University and I'm a senior and I knew that wasn't gonna be my path. With a lot of thought and I guess encouragement from my parents, um, I decided to go to JJC. What it gave me was a real sense of diversity. You know, I came from St. Francis, loved my experience, I'm grateful for the sacrifices that my parents had to make to send us all to private schools, but um, you know, going to JJC, it was a very diverse um, between the professors and the, the students, um, and I really felt comfort in that. I started dabbling in some criminal justice classes and really loved it. So that's what I wanted to pursue. Um, I had great experiences, actually an internship at the Will County Jail, um, helping inmates um, get their G GED. I really felt that the, the industry um, was so interesting, mm -hmm. you know, putting, helping people get jobs mm -hmm. and learning about all different types of companies from corp corporate offices to manufacturing to distribution. Um, it was fascinating to me. Um, but it was great to be back in Joliet, and that's when we started our next business, mm -hmm. um, which is TCBY Frozen Yogurt. We got our first truck. I started getting more involved in the community, seeing that there's a need for, um, you know, it was our way of sponsoring that we could donate product, mm -hmm. but also there were a lot of opportunities to sell product. She's been the owner here for going on 13 years now, so about half the time that she's been owning here, I've been working here. Um, she's a mentor to me. She is there for me whenever I need anything, either personally or work-related. Um, always just someone that I can go to for anything like that. Well, once we got settled with TCBY, I really wanted to get more involved in the community, learn more about the business community. Um, and so I started out with Rotary mm -hmm. um, and the Chamber. And, um, you know, basically asked Mary Jaworski at the time, you know, I really want to get involved. And she was kind of my mentor. At the time, I knew and had this feeling that TCBY wasn't going to be the end of my career. It just kind of felt like it was all coming together. And that this position at the Chamber could be that, that end um, to my career, um, but bringing all of my past together. So there's a few things that come out from the servant leadership uh, with Jen, Jen Howard, and, and one of them obviously is empathy. She cares about the people she works with, her colleagues, the customers, the people she serves. But the other thing that comes out from that is her ability to sacrifice of herself for others. And I think people that know her know, obviously she's a hard worker, she's dedicated, she's driven, she, she's good at making plans but she sacrifices so much for the people around her, for her business. And that has translated nicely into her leadership at the Joliet Chamber of Commerce. Well, I, I think because of my experience in so many different industries, I can, I can relate to a manufacturing company or a logistics company or a corporate atmosphere. The JJC board, like the YMCA board, offers that opportunity for ser servant leadership. Uh, my husband and I started a scholarship fund after I saw the successes. She is someone that is there for you because she wants you to succeed, um, just like she has. She has always been a very 
independent, go get them kind of woman, and that's something that I aspire to be, um, and I've always looked up to her for that reason. What I would tell my 18-year-old self is um, it's okay not to follow the popular path, that it's okay to not know what you really want to do 20 years from now. I mean, you do have to figure it out at some point, but it's okay not to know, and it's also okay to change your mind.